Yo. What's good, everybody? It's one too many reactions. We're finally back with some cricket. Uh, we got some some good news or noise when we watched cricket last time, so we're trying to do it again. Um, everyone was very much like, "Learn the rules, dummy." So here we are. We're no. learning the rules. So they call it dummy. They say dummy. No, I'm gonna I, close my I eyes. Dummy. Okay. Uh, I'm super into dummy. cricket this winter, and I don't think it's gonna fail. I can search the comments. I'm just gonna type in dummy, don't and if I see anybody call me dummy, I swear to God. Oh my God! Hey, I don't think it's a up phase, so if you're not enjoying the cricket it. stuff, don't watch. If you are, there's more coming. I'm still learning the game, but I understand the concept. I lived in Australia and played in the playground a little bit, so I always kind of have. Here's a general breakdown. Now I'm gonna use baseball terms, so all the cricket people, I'm using the wrong terms on purpose. I think it's more relatable for baseball fans to it understand. Helps. And just the general, if you've never seen it before, the general. Very basic concept is if you've played running bases or pickle as a kid, that's what you have. These two lines are the safe zones. They're the bases, so to speak. And the wickets are kind of the strike zone or the base. So the guy's going to pitch it. He hits it. And then it's how many times can each runner run back and forth. Oh. Every time they run to the other side, that's a run. That's the general concept. The oh, fielding wow. team has to get the ball and throw it in before the runners cross the line. If they cross, if they get to the wicket before the runner crosses the line, then it's an out. Mm -hmm. It's a one inning game. This version, at least, really long inning. So and only one inning a piece. We were so watching on this, this ball. That Whoa. one's put in play, and it's yeah, caught. We had no idea it was about running back and forth. <laughs> what? What did you just get confused by? I think I said that. Oh, you knew that. I know I don't I don't think I knew that, but I think I I, I caught on the uh, like running back and forth. I think over here. Yeah, uh, but he says the line, then it's an out. It's a one inning game. This version, at least, one really inning long game. innings and only one inning a piece. So, so it's just hard to get somebody out. That one's put in play and it's caught on the fly, so that's an out. They call it a wicket. So you see this scoreboard. This is how many runs the team has scored. Wow. One hundred and thirty-four, and this is how many outs. They've hit into, okay. and now it's going to change to six. Once it gets to ten, it's over. Okay. Oh, now, this is the most confusing part. <laughs> Cricket is broken up into overs. An over is a set of six pitches. It's like the biggest detail you need to know. Once you get that in your head, you'll understand all the stats, all the talk, all the chatter. An over is a set of six pitches. So this bowler's name is Verma. His first pitch we saw they got one run his second pitch he got an out or a wicket oh. that's huge uh so let's keep going that's huge he's got four more in the over that dude who got out he's done his day is over he does not get to hit again a new batsman comes in his name is max chu he had a really good outing in the field let's see what he can do him and broom they call this a partnership and broom's been in for a while so here's the first ball what? to Max Chu, and he puts that, and no runs. That's considered a dot ball. And because in this version of cricket, there's a pitch limit, there's 20 overs, which is a set of six pitches, meaning there's 120 pitches. Every pitch that the batsmen don't score a runoff is a win for the fielding team. So mm. dot balls are huge. So you see now he's got one run, a wicket, and a dot ball. These two are great results for the bowler. That's the pitcher. But in this game, the other team hit yeah, already. Yeah. So the Volts need 13 more runs from nine more uh, balls. I get it. Like I said, we have these one, two, three, and then another over left, and then the game's over. So it's so coming you, to a real You get a max of finish. 120 pitches Here's the next one. if you don't get 10 outs. It's what I'm... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it Boom. sounds like. And that's put in play, and they can go for one safely. They can try to go for two. No, they just go for one run. You can see it down here, one run. And now they've switched sides. So now the other batsman, Chu hit that one. Now Broom is going to swing at this one, puts that in play, but puts it way too high, and that's caught for another out, another wicket. You'll see it went to seven outs now, and he's done. He's out of the game. 
So this is a great oh, wicket over takes you out of the game for Verma because he's got two wickets. They're pretty rare. A dot ball and Broom had scored sixty two runs. He had been in the game yeah, for a while, runs. so it's pretty big to get him out. And now you have two rookie batters, McKenzie and Chu, and uh, you know he's only seen two pitches done. So they're coming into the game fresh, and there's only seven more balls left. But here is what Chu does on this ball. Puts it in play and then runs, and it's basically like baseball equivalent of a hustle double. He needs to get as many runs as he can and maximize the hits, mm. and they get back, and they get two runs out of it safely. So that's a good way to end it because now it's 10 more runs from six balls. You have a new bowler coming in, Kugelin. Oh. I don't know how to pronounce like his name. And, uh, but now McKenzie is the batsman. They switched, and he's up. So and these two guys are just going back and forth. Every over, they now pitch from the new side. They switch sides. So now this dude's going to get his first ball, and it's a pretty important part of the game. They need to get 10 runs on the next six balls. He puts that one right where so it came. So what I'm deducing here, too, is that a guy is up doing the bat thing as they're switching sides. One guy starts the game off, and then once he gets a wicket, he's out of the game. So there's 10 total players, maybe. Um Mm. And they don't get to the the last batters until the very very end. I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it feels like that. I'm I'm like getting to a point where I'm like starting to understand the ge- I like the general idea right yeah. now. So I'm like at least I can watch that way at highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Cricket highlights where it's just like okay, I, I know something's happening. No, now. we get, we're gonna have to dive a little bit more yeah, into this. Yeah. This is fun. From nice piece of hitting up the middle, and that's gonna get him one run. Now Chu is up again. They switch sides. And here, listen to this. Max Chu! Max Chu! That's our part, you beauty! <laughs> so over the fence like that is a home run. It's an automatic six run. So here's oh. an update of the score bug before and after that sixer from Max Chu. Beforehand, it was a 138 runs. He got six runs on that, so it goes to 144. The outs stay the same. 19.1 overs, that was another ball, so now it's 19.2. Keep going. You have McKenzie, he got one run off one ball. Chu had three off three. Now Chu has nine off of four balls seen. So that's their personal stats. Mm-hmm. Before were the team stats. It was nine more runs from five balls, but he got six. So now it's three more from four. So that's a huge shot because now victory should be in their hands. Mm-hmm. And then this is the overs, and we got a six there. It's not a great start for our dude, Kugelin, who's now got one wicket, but he's allowed 44 runs in 3.2 overs. So let's keep watching, see if the Volts can do it. Max Chu is up again, and this one, he's going to pop up in the air. Do they get under it? Do they get under it? No, it drops, and they get one more run out of it. So if you look at the way this is bold, (laughs) he bounces it really (laughs) short. You got to hustle, man. (laughs) In an area that's not really fun to hit at because he knows he's swinging. They can't afford to not swing. They're just trying to get wickets or get dot balls, and that one is... Oh, Oh, he maybe thought thought it was going to get caught. No, that lands. So that's another run. So now you you have the rookie up again. He's making his debut in this league, and he needs two more runs. From the next three balls to win it for and his he's team. By himself. And what's he going to do? Well, guy, he's going to hit know, what we consider a walk-off homer. Wow. Where he goes to the short side of the field. Yeah, I, double fist. I think the, the whole time, there's always two people. Uh, and, uh, they, maybe they replace them if they're out. Yeah, I'm not they sure. Get or down. Pump. Big ol' hugs from the rookies. Feeling good. What a way to end it. Yeah, they the win off. the match. It's over. Walk-off. So this is the final scorecard. This is the Volts roster. The first Duffy batsman, he got eight runs off five balls. The next one, ten runs off ten. This is the, they were caught out, so C stands for caught. Oh. And then this is the fielder who made the catch. Oh, yeah, so it takes B him out of the game. stands for the bowler who bowled them out or who bowled it out. This dude, Phillips, wasn't caught out. He was bowled out, meaning the bowler just hit the wickets and he was out. Oh, and really, you look out. at this. Broom did Phillips. all the heavy lifting for them in the three hole. And then these guys, Chu and McKenzie, they never got out. They finished the match. On the other side, we have the other team's bowlers. They used one, two, three, four, five. Or the, are the Walkers brothers? They used five different bowlers. That's normal because oh. you can't bowl more than Dude, 
I'm watching this, and, like, I'm like, yo, this dude sounds a lot like John Boy. And it's fucking John Boy. Who's John Boy? Uh, John, uh, he does, like, those, those baseball breakdowns of, like, the, like, uh, people, um, what do you call it? We see what people are saying. Lip reading. Jesus frick. Oh, bad um, lip readings? He, no, not bad lip readings. He just, like, he breaks down. He does these, like, MLB breakdowns. He does other sports, too, but baseball is, like, his main thing. He'll, like, talk about, you know, a, a, a pitcher getting hit. Or he might even, like, break down to you, like, a thing that's happening within the game. Um, and then, like, you know, Aaron Boone will come out, and then he's, like, it's like, you know, his mouth is just going, but he's so good at reading people's lips. And you're like, I think that's what they're saying. Like, uh, pretty much every time, hmm. like, he's a, a very good, yeah, anyway. That's his thing, though, lip reading? Uh, he does the lip reading thing really well, but he also, like, he has a podcast, but he also does, um, he does these, like, he does really good breakdowns, like, good MLB breakdowns and stuff. Gotcha. Anyway, oh. shout out, John Boy, media. Four Thanks. overs. That's a rule, so you can't just have one. He's a guy how much. Dots. All of these guys had 10 dot balls. That's pretty good. Runs, our guy Fisher allowed the least 21. He got two wickets. So he had the best day out of all these uh, things. So I don't know. Might be too fast for you. Might not. If you want to watch it, this gist. league is on ESPN+. Plus. If you like baseball, you're going to like T20 cricket. I, I got to assume it's very similar in, in pace and play and, and intricacies. And if you know, if you understand what I just said, and then you watch a game, it'll all come together. It's much simpler than baseball from a first-time viewing experience because the general concept is just way simpler. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. That was cool. All right, guys, we did it. We, we learned some it. cricket. Yeah, I feel like I, I now... I way more understand the game. Yeah, I could now, I feel like, go to a cricket match and then at least, like, get what's, what's going, going on, on, like, as far as, like, okay, the scoring thing. Mm. I'm a little confused with, like, the out system, mm. like, the, you get a wicket and you're out, I don't know. There's definitely things we could dive deeper on, but... Yeah, I think it's 120 pitches or 10 wickets, and 10 wickets has to do with, like, how many... Because they had seven wickets, right? And then they had the seven batters with two left, so maybe the pairs always stay together, but... They just, like, yeah, yeah they could, once one's out, they go down the next yeah, one. It's yeah. kind of like, you have, like, two people at bat at the same time, in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Or I guess base runner. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so maybe the guy who's first could actually technically never go out and play with the whole team as they're going out and be the guy. Mm. The, and then that they're probably maybe, like, the best. Dude, that... Oh, God, I, I have so many questions. Yeah, 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 for <laughs> all sure. All right, we'll see you on Dig the next deeper. one. Dig <laughs> deeper. <Bye. laughs>